everyone, I'm Bruce Hitchin and welcome back to Centre Lane. Well today I'm back at the home of Ben Su because Ben has just a wonderful collection of cars. I mentioned last time we were here a little while ago and he was telling us about his Porsches. But one of the really unique cars he has is this 1963 split window Corvette. Now I'm just going to remind you to uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this content and click the bell if you want to be notified of future episodes. So Ben, tell me about this car. It's just an absolute gorgeous car. Um, 63 split window. It is the holy grail of Corvettes. And uh, I think it's also uh, your birth year, is that correct? Yes. <laughs> tell me about the car and how you got it. Yeah, you're 100% correct. Uh, one year only split window Corvette. Um, it is the holy grail of all Corvettes. Since it was my birth year car, I wanted a car with history. I wanted a car with the original drivetrain. And I wanted a car that either I need to restore or, uh, or just buy it as is. So um, it's tough to meet all, all three of those criteria. So one day, uh, one of the club members from the BC Corvette Club phoned me up knew that I was looking for a split window Corvette. She said that, uh, well, here's a phone number. I think there's a 63 Corvette on, on the island. So I said, okay, well, can you send me some pictures? So he sent me the pictures and sure enough, I knew it was a 63 because it's got the split window. So that was two years before I actually bought the car. What kept me away from it was this color. I, I, I wasn't too crazy about the color. I said to my wife, I said, you know, I've been looking at this car for the last two years. What do you think? She looked at the color, looked at the car, she's like, it's beautiful, I love the color, go buy it, right? So, call the fellow up, is the car still for sale? Yes, the car is still for sale. Well, I mean, no wonder, it's, it's on the island, for one. It's three hours from the mainland to get to the car. The guy wasn't friendly to show the car, and the guy that's selling the car didn't know anything about the car, right? So anyway, the deal was made, loaded the car up on the trailer, went to the insurance, and when I pulled into the parking lot, a fellow came running up to me and says, my God, this is a urban legend. I said, what do you mean? Well, we've heard about this car, and there's one other one exactly like it on the island. I've never seen this car. We knew it's been here since the 70s, but I've never seen this car. I said, well, here it is, right? So. Always in the back of my mind, there's that other one, right? Like, where is the other one? So Ben, I, I thought it was interesting you say you didn't like the color because mm -hmm. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Clearly your wife thought it was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, is this the original paint on this car? Uh, no, the, the, the car has been fully restored. Now, this particular color, there were six colors available for 1963. This happened to be one of the more popular color, but you rarely see them in this color, the fact that over the years, people paint them black, red, white, or whatever. And um, now, you know, owning it for the last, I've owned this car for, seven, eight years now, um, every time I go to a car show, I, I get comments like, I never see this color, it's beautiful. So, you know, I, I, I'm grown to like it, and um, it's the original color, so we restored it back to completely original. And going back to the condition of the car when I got it, it was, um, it was a good original survivor, okay? Hindsight, what I should have done was taken this car, go down Route 66, go do some road trips and not care about it, you know, and it was a great running car. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I got it restored and now I'm kind of scared to drive it, but I still do drive it, right? But not, not the way that I would have driven it when, if it was, if it was still original. Well, because it's right? absolutely gorgeous. I mean, the shine on this paint, the chrome, everything about it just looks perfect. Um, can you, can you pop the hood for us and show sure. us inside? Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. So what do we have in here, Ben? 
So it's the 327, uh, 300 horse. It's a four speed. Uh, it's a Super T10 transmission. And um, it's the original engine, uh, born with engine with a stamping of uh, the last sixth of this serial number. It's been rebuilt at some point because it, this car runs beautifully. It runs great, purrs like a kitten. The, the car was so clean that we, you know, you often hear a frame off restoration on Corvettes. Now, the frame and the undercarriage on this car is so clean that the factory markings are still on the frame and on the floorboard and all that. So we decided not to disturb that. We just cleaned it up and put a, a, a clear satin coat of clear paint over top to, to preserve it, okay? And um, so we did the body, we did the paint, we did the interior, um, you know, the, the engine, we just basically painted and detailed. That's all, all we did. People often over restore the cars and like this car here, the, the, the paint's better than original. Um, but, uh, you know, we try to keep it as original as possible, use uh, as many original parts as possible. And, and, and it's very rare to find a 1963 Corvette with the original drivetrain. I mean, this car is 57 years old. Somewhere along the line, I mean, engine oil quality was not as good as they are now. I mean, like, you rarely hear an engine failing these days. But, I mean, back then, it's very common for engines to fail. And... You know, like these were cars back then and people drive them like cars. So, you know, they get abused, the engine blows up, you put another one in, then originality is gone. Well, that's the interesting thing. You know, they were just regular cars. And I guess in 63, I, uh, that was one of the complaints about these cars was yes. the split window. People didn't like it because you couldn't see through it. Yes, you cannot see the car directly behind you. And, and I can vouch for that. Like it's not a very safe car on the road. And... It, there's only one mirror, uh, the passenger side mirror is an option which this car does not have. And when you're actually driving the car, you cannot see anything behind you. So, I mean, for safety reasons, that's probably one of the reasons why they, they got rid of it in 1964. And the interesting part is, uh, you know, it, it, it's a urban legend that p people were cutting these bars off and then put a 64 back window in just to make the car modern, right? And uh, I mean, those people, whoever did that, probably regret it now. This car is very unique. Again, it's the holy grail of all Corvettes. It's the American sports car. I've always wanted one of these and it just happened to be a, a birth year car. So it, it's pretty basic. It, uh, this, car, this particular car doesn't have air conditioning. So you just got the heat, you got the air, you got the, just the AM radio. It's a Wonder Bar type radio. So you need to heat up before it starts to work. Um, this gauge cluster, it's a 63 specific with the uh, stainless styles. Um, it, 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 it looks great at night. Now, throughout the restoration of the car, I found out there's a lot of things that are, that are 63 only. Uh, you know, the dash, the, uh, the gauges, the, the glove box, the console, the steering wheel. You know, that's what makes these cars very unique because, I mean, to restore these cars, it's very, very costly because uh, anything to do with the 63 price basically doubles. Um, you know, for example, the, the windshield molding, the, the molding is different, the clips are different, and they're 63 only. There, there's a toolbox actually underneath the, uh, the seat to buy carpet for this car it was next to impossible because they, they had to make the molded carpet to fit the toolbox. So those are the challenges to, to restore a 63 Corvette. Every, everything's done now, everything's good. Uh, you know, this car will, will stay this way, way for a long, long time. One day my friend called me up and said, hey, your car's in the ICBC calendar. I said, no, it's not my car. And he says, oh, okay. So he sent me a picture. I looked at it, said, okay, well, it's got different wheels, but very similar car. And then when I read the caption, the car is from Duncan. So then put two and two together, it's like, gee, this could be the other car. So I Googled the name and made a few phone calls and I got a hold of the, uh, the owner. And, and we agreed to have a photo shoot together with our cars. But I've lost his contact. So if you're watching, if you have a car just like mine, saddle tan with a saddle tan interior 63 from Duncan, please reach out. My Instagram idol, it's, it's Ben the Car Guy. And uh, yeah, let's get this together and maybe Bruce can uh, do our episode in, in, in these two cars. Mm -hmm.